I want to talk about an interesting aspect of, um, of pre-production. Again, once again, I've said it many times now, movies are made in prep. It's that simple. That's not an option. Know it. Believe it. It's true. What we've got here is two boards, okay? Here's the done, one by, done by hand in the old way, right? Works perfect, okay? We'll go over the color codes. I'll do that later. And then this is the, um, the, the computer-generated Crossfire Trail one. It's the same information, okay? But this one you don't have to handwrite. There's no question that if, you, if you're highly computer literate and you're good at entry, computer entry, that this is a faster way of going. Also, these changes are made instantly. Right? But some of us prefer to do it by hand and like, express the reasons why. You get to know, I, I feel you get closer to the material. And your job is to know the material at least as well as the director. Okay, so uh, what I want to do is I want to go to the board, okay? Because it's a tactile thing. As we talked about, it's a direct translation of the schedule. It's simply something that only the ADs see in general. And you, and you usually send a copy of it to the producer and the director. Everyone else works off of the schedule because that's their information sheet. So now take a look at that schedule, okay? And you'll see how it's got more information than the one-liner. And it shows not only, this, not only the cast members, but also their names, right? It has all the props, all the stunts, vehicles, special effects, livestock, okay? So you see how it, it, it's a lot more elaborate, and that's why you only publish it once, and then you work off of that. So if you're, if you're in the movie, right, and you're getting a new blue page of, a, of the one-liner, one of the pages is now blue, and it doesn't have all the specifics, but it does say scene 11, you'll go to your original schedule to find out the content of scene 11. And now what I want to do is I want to talk about what I call schedule factors. Now, how do we do this board? So here's the first item, and it's the most important. And it's what gets you started, because at this point you're going, oh, wow, this is going to be overwhelming. Where do I begin? Here's where you begin. You combine and consolidate all the strips in the same location. So all of Charlie's restaurant goes together, all of the wedding reception goes together. You're starting to see, you, you, your, your movie's starting to take, a movie schedule is starting to take some form, right? It, you've started, and that's a big relief to get started. Because everything you're going to do beyond this is going to be a modification of that. You're going to simply fine tune these clumps. And we're going to schedule the day work inside, the day scenes, together in a clump, even though there's, they're different scenes, and then do all the night scenes. Why? Because we want to avoid what we call changeovers in the lighting. That's, it takes a significant amount of time to change over. It's a, it's a lot harder and a lot more work. By hard, I mean work, time, right? to create daylight when it's night out a window than it is the other way around.